Hey, and so I wanted to just pop in and talk just a few minutes about maybe uh, what I've seen, what you've been uh, talking about so far, and what you can expect as we move into the next module. So um, to start, I really appreciated all of the the thought and the introspection that I uh, saw went into your video postings about when we were start in the starting the conversation discussion. You had some really great comments, and it's interesting to me how we all see or how we all answer that question. Similarly, you know, some of you said, oh, you're on my very soapbox. I felt like I, you know, could have said the exact same thing. And others had a very different view. You know, some define literacy as knowing how to do something. You know, so you can be literate in automotive things, or you can be literate in math. You can be literate in photography. There's all sorts of things to be literate in if you go with that definition as just knowing, having the skills, the knowledge of how to to do a task or to to do um, have a skill or others of us said held more towards the traditional view of literacy, which is reading and communicating effectively. And I think they go hand in hand. I don't think anybody's right and anybody's wrong. It's not the object of this class anyway for me to say, oh no, you're wrong. No, not at all. And like I told you um, previously, this is not where I want you to uh, think that your statements have to be what I want to hear. That's totally not what I want. I just want us to think. And some of you pointed out about the whole critical thinking piece. And that's really my goal is for us to embrace critical thinking in all our disciplines, from math to art to English to history to automotive to and even to technology integration and to the library. And it's very, they're very critical, I think, in those two arenas and that's why we are going to continue this week focusing on information literacy in fact that's what this whole class is about is information literacy and um, information literacy being the knowledge of how to seek and distribute assimilate acquire distri um, I was going to say the same word again information from various sources for various reasons and to help other people do the same thing and to do that ethically so that people's intellectual property rights are respected so we're going to move into this week looking at a little bit more of why a change in thought might be, I'm not going to say is, might be necessary in today's classrooms. And you're going to, and you know, one thing I don't want you to think is I want you to go back and change the world right now. No, I just want us to think. And if we can implement one thing in our current environment that's going to spark thinking, it's going to spark a little more um, knowledge about and use of information literacy skills, not just maybe in the library, but everywhere in the curriculum, then we've done, then, it's, then I've done what I want to, the aim of this class. It's about using, for me, as we said last week, as I shared last week, technology is a tool. And some of you made a point that, okay, so we've got technology and we've got literacy. Why can't they be the 
taught the same, same thing kind of thing, and they can be. I think they should be. I think the skills you learn with one go hand in hand with the skills you learn with the other. We just have to find the, uh, and I don't, I don't know if balance is the word, because I don't know if there needs to be a balance, but we need to find the right, uh, let's say, proportion of those that need to be involved in what we're doing in our educational settings, whatever those educational settings are. So this week I'm going to have you do some reading. You're going to start reading your textbook. You're going to read the introduction and then chapters one and two. There are some other short articles to read, some videos to watch, a discussion to be had. And we're, I really liked, and I don't know that you did. I know, well, you did it once, kind of got the glitches worked out so you know what to do to record yourself. So it shouldn't hopefully be as difficult this week. But you're going to, I really liked having you record yourself speaking first. And then we can type after that. That's cool. I'm good with that. But I've also split you into conversation groups. And those conversation groups are were just randomly assigned. I let Canvas assign the group, so I don't know right now who's in what group, but you'll see that uh, on the discussion board page. When you go in, I'll say, this is, these are the groups. And you'll also notice that your groups are names of coffee shops. And I did that on purpose just because I thought it might be kind of fun to give them names so you kind of feel like, oh, we're going to go to the coffee shop after class and talk about what we learned today, some of the ideas that we had, some of the questions we have, and that kind of stuff. And I have a feeling that the topic for this week's discussion is going to elicit some interesting conversations. And I hope that you let the conversation evolve. And you'll notice that I wasn't present in those conversations last week. And I, like I said last week in last week's video, my expectations, I don't want to be there and influence what you're saying because, I, again, I don't want you to think you have to say what you think I want to hear. I want you to process and reflect and step back and say, hmm, I don't know. Okay? So the idea is not to agree with me. The, the, the idea is for you to think and come up with ideas of your own. All right. And then there's also an assignment that goes with it. And you're going to be creating a, a word web, a mind map, whatever you want to call it. More directions for that on the assignment page. Just like always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. And I hope you have a fabulous week.